Welcome to my project. This is Scar Tissue Speedway and it consists of four different sections. Um, I remember the original Spin on the Bridge also had four sections but it did it in a more repetitive way. So I'm trying to be a bit more dynamic with how I do this sort of uh, transition to each section and stuff. So hopefully when it loops it will retain more interest. Uh, that's the plan anyway. So first of all we've got section one, the intro to section one, with these sounds which I'll play you now. A sort of very metallic sound and that's coming out the left. And we've got this different one coming out the right. It's very similar but different enough so that they don't really clash in terms of frequency or whatever. Uh, it's hard to explain but sometimes if you play uh, if you sort of clone the same sound and play it over each other it, it either becomes twice as loud or it sort of does a sort of phasing effect like a chorus effect which you don't really want so you make it slightly different and uh, when it's stereo they both sound like this and we've got this one as well to go in the mix. It sort of beefs up the beefs up the intro a bit. And coming in next will be this, which is sort of a reference to the original spin on the bridge, as it did a similar kind of thing at that point in the song. So when we play them all together it'll sound like this. And also I've got uh, a few more things going on here. I've got the arps to provide suspense for the song. When for when the percussion and bass come in. This extra bit to go with the intro, which uh, helps beef it up even more. The first instance of percussion here. That's a closed hat. And uh, this detuned uh, pad here, which isn't detuned per se, but I've put the notes right next to each other on the piano roll, so it sort of has that slightly detuned effect. So, that, so it's one here and one there, and I did that for the lower octave as well, because when you uh, separate them by one, then they become in tune in a different way. So you bring them together and they're slightly clashing and making this sound. So I'll play this second part of the intro which will introduce the percussion and bass. So that's these that come in for the second half of the main part of section one. And you've also got the bass, a sub bass, which I've put in lots of little bits, which makes it a bit louder and a bit more aggressive. Because there's a part coming up where I've just uh, placed them as uh, long straight lines. Uh, you'll see what I mean soon. So this is section two. Still got a few uh, closed hats going. Introduce this organ, which is it's panned right, but it's coming out. Uh, it sounds like it's coming out the left, which is a bit odd. But it helps uh, keep it a little bit apart from the trumpets, which are here. And those are completely centered. 
So here we've got the bass, which is uh, played in long intervals this time. So it's a bit quieter, and uh, you'll notice when the first one plays, it gets a bit quieter as it goes along. So that's why I had to kind of do the uh, little bits thing for the main part of the song. So it keeps it playing throughout, rather than doing a sort of sort of a sustain of some kind. And you can hear it more over the track uh, when it's in little sections. Uh, next up in the section two intro, we've got these sort of arpeggiated detuned blips. And this one goes along with them. So when you play them all together, it, it kind of gives it a bit of variety, which I'll show you. So we'll have the percussion and bass section next. Before we move on, I'll just show you the percussion, like the the uh, sort of rhythm I've come up with for this. So we've got those, we've got these. So this is like a new version of Spin on the Bridge, which did things a little bit differently as I'll demonstrate. This is the original uh, percussion, or the sort of the original style from Spin on the Bridge. So I decided to sort of hold off uh, copying the original track's rhythm until the, s the last half of the song. And uh, I, th I think it worked out quite well because it's it sort of, it separates the last half of the song and makes it a bit more unique and uh, memorable, I guess. Also for um, section three, I've added in a sort of techno section. So I'll just show you here. You've got um, these notes are coming out the left. And for the right, I've alternated the notes and yeah, they'll be playing out the right side. So it's not quite the same, but when you put them together, it, it will sort of bat them left and right. Like that. And uh, on top of that, I've also added the sound from Never Return Alive, which plays on all the notes and is also centered. Now for the second half of section three, I've made things a bit different. I've put in the sort of jazzy piano chord here, which I'm hoping will be the beginning of the extended version. So you've got that going, and then you've also got this, which sort of remixes parts of the intro and uh, some of those blips that have already been used. And the blips, uh, they sort of do a bit more than they did in the first half of section three. So you've got these. And uh, it sort of carries it on. So I'll play the whole section now. Also added in that sort of sound effect there, which is a square that's been pitched from top to bottom. Now for section four, it's sort of a continuation of section two. I've uh, changed things up a bit. So 
So first of all you've got the blips, which do a little more here. Got the bass here, which does the usual small parts, making it more aggressive. And you've also got what you heard in section two, but done differently. So we've got the metallic sounds up top, and then you've got the organ and the trumpets, and they're all doing something different to sort of bring more together for the conclusion of the track. So I'll play it through now. So uh, that's basically all I have so far. Well, it's, I say that, but I'm pretty much happy with it and I consider it finished. But I may add to it more. It just depends. Um, so I think all that's left now is to show the track in action. <laughs> 